Good morning, Special K. What you got? Hey, this good morning. morning. Good, good morning, Ricky Smiley. Uh, look, now we know you're a big fan of uh, First Forty Eight, right? Oh, so yeah. this might be right up your alley. Come on, last night they showed this locked up for thirty days. I was oh. teed off. It didn't come on last night. That's a disappointment. Yeah. Nothing better than watching 13, 14 episodes of First Forty Eight back to back. I'm telling you. Right. So look, if you ever wanted to be a detective but not a re- actual cop, now's your chance. So the Tucson, Arizona Police Department has created a new position. That's exactly that. The job title for this is professional staff investigator. So what you basically get to do is be a detective without the normal requirement of three years as a cop first. So now it does require training. You go through seven weeks at a police academy, and then you get three months of field training, and you also need at least an associate's degree. So I can stop filling out this application now. (laughs) So after the training, (laughs) yeah, I ain't got that. After the training, you get to do most of the stuff real detectives do. You get to visit crime scenes, collect evidence, interview suspects, and bust bad guys, but you're still not a cop. Now, you don't get a gun, and you can't be the first person on scene, and you can't make arrests. So technically, you're still a civilian that's helping the police. And if you're up for it, it pays between $22 and $33 an hour. Oh, let me finish this application. And they're not just hiring one person. They're looking to hire 20 people in Tucson, Arizona, to do this job. Now, they say they're doing it because the general public already helps with investigations, just through deep dives on Google. So they want to, quote, get that untapped potential. So now you're so you a can snitch apply. in action. You are snitch in action. So, if you you know, <laughs> you can apply online. The cutoff date is July 24th. So if you was a safety patrol in school, that was a good place to start. <laughs> I was. I, I, I was I too. I that, man. I Gary, was you a safety safe. patrol? No. Maria, man, was you, you a safety patrol? You get to patrol? leave out 10 minutes early, man, and they give you that orange helmet and, then the, and that thing going across your chest. Boy, you thought yeah, you were doing something. Yeah, you get a little belt. Really? Stopping them damn damn cars and letting the kids uh, cross the street. You know what but I used you to like? Be on the I, safety patrol if you rode the bus, though. I used to like being when I was in the seventh grade, sixth, seventh grade. You get to go out and you get to uh, 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 tell the little kids what to do. You get to make them stop running down the hall. That you can make them line yeah. up outside to get picked up by their parents. You had authority. If you had to say oh, before, yeah. you had some juice. You was like the police in the school. Mm. I'm telling Being you. Being the RA at the dorm, stopping do, sneaking girls up in the room. I, I, I nah. can't do that. I can't relate to that. Rock T, was you a safety patrol? No, nah, I never did that, but I was always the one messing with them. <laughs> oh, I thought you would have been a good safety and, patrol. And uh, uh, Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts. Shout out to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the Boy Scout. I was a Boy Scout for one I was. Summer. A, uh, started out as a Cub Scout, then a Boy Scout. Now, we did it at my church, and they ran proud out of to money. to put that damn uniform on, boy. Hmm. All I learned how to do was tie some knots, and we went on one camping trip, and then uh, they uh, ran we, out of they, money, they and it was over. They took us boating. We, we went on a canoe. Uh, Mr. Foster took us out to Oak Mountain Park, and that was the time, first time I rode on the boat. I was excited about that. They put your life jacket on, and, I mean, we, we, was, real, we was doing some real scouting. Mr. Well, Foster anybody uh, out, was awesome. Well, anybody out there that's looking for a gig, uh, Tucson, Arizona. Go ahead out there and apply to be a, a fake cop. Uh, $22 an hour, you can't, yeah. That might, might Don't better get your me. life. Yeah, check them out. There it is. There you go. I guarantee it's coming up. Ricky Smile, the morning show.